Well, 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 good morning. It's definitely been a minute since we've done a video, but uh, we got to take a road trip today, uh, possibly to the Tesla Service Center in Chico. I uh, don't know because my appointment wasn't confirmed, and uh, we're also headed uh, to the next bigger city down called Yuba City, where we're picking up a, a couple firearm-related firearms. So uh, we'll hit a supercharger or two on the way just to kind of video those, uh, a couple I've never been to, and uh, this be a nice, quick road trip video for you. So cars preheating, uh, my Thule roof box is on just because I'm way too lazy to take it off. It's full of shooting targets and steel plates, so we'll see how many watt hours per mile we get on that and cars at 91% all nice and preheated let's hit the road and see what today's adventure does hang on guys we'll be right back We left at 91%. Put your hands on the wheel. Um, we're projected to arrive at the Chico Service Center at 61%. I'm doing 70, 75. Tires are at about 44 pounds, plus the rack on top with a bunch of shooting steel in there. So the car's got some weight. So this is, in my opinion, a pretty accurate little road test of some, you know, other than pristine and perfect conditions other than the road because they just paved it and it is dead silent in here um so far we're at 385 watt mile watt hours per mile which is to be expected with the box and uh man it is a gorgeous day for the 
beginning of December and we'll just uh, see how it goes. So, boy, it's not like in this, the lines just got repainted and uh, cameras are having a little trouble seeing it. So we'll flip you guys back around. We'll check out the road. We're headed I-5 South to Highway 99 for those in the uh, area or just care about, you know, geographical points of interest. So uh, we'll get you flipped back around here, guys. We'll see you soon. So everybody knows what Mars, Mo's, Mars Mode is on the display. That's actually not Mars. That's Chico, California, going through one of the farming areas. Kind of funny how uh, not so dissimilar they are. Alright guys, we were just getting into Chico. I'm not sure what it was, but I know it was in Playboy magazine that Chico College was rated one of the top, or if not the top, party college in either California or the US. So, kind of cool. It's a size of a postage stamp. It's a tiny little town. Um, but there's some pretty cool stuff around here, uh, namely the Tesla Service Center, which a, we're 20 minutes late to our appointment, but they never technically said that my part was in, but we gotta go buy it anyway, so we'll stop in and say hi, get some coffee, and then uh, continue down to Yuba City. So, it, uh, we're not gonna see much of the actual town. Uh, Highway 99 splits it right in half, and uh, we're gonna get around this tractor finally. So uh, we'll get you flipped back around here and we'll take you all the way to the Tesla service station. So sit tight. All right, kids, we just got off the Skyway in Chico and uh, I think we'll just roll this in real time to the service center. It's just a couple miles up the road. It's not very exciting. It's an old solar city uh, building that Tesla uh, acquired and repurposed. But uh, it's where we need to be, so that's where we're going. You would think that, oh, there's a new Bronco. Um, 
some of the Tesla centers you see on the, the news, they've got the showcase out there with the Model S and they're all beautiful with big pane windows. This definitely is in a commercial side of town with a couple of windows. It's very small and they run all the way up to, I think, uh, Mike, the service guy up there, said they go all the way to Ashland, Oregon. So they have a really big territory down here to cover with just a couple of guys. The mobile service has been out to my house before. Um, it's a great team up here. Uh, Chris Carroll is the manager for most of Northern California. He's a great guy and he's got a really good team here. I couldn't be happier with the service. Like I said, this one's on me if it falls through today. But and I just realized I'm in the wrong lane. I need to be one more street up. So we go down. There we go. Even Tesla drivers screw up and I have the navigation going right here. So what are you gonna do? People are human. So let's get you flip back around uh, as soon as we don't wanna hit this bus. Definitely commercial kind of area uh, where we're going. Old buildings. It's an old historic town for the most part. And a lot of smaller towns in this area of California, they, uh, they don't just die, they slowly die. Not that this town is one of those, a good part of it is but it's still a pretty cool area. All right, we've got a half a mile, we'll make our turn and we're almost there. That's where we're going, over into those larger buildings. That bus is not in service. Mostly because it says so. Alright guys, so we're basically there. It was a mixed driving, 75, 55 for the longest time. Some drafting when we got stuck behind somebody. It was 71 miles. It took an hour and 13 minutes, which is pretty much right where it should be. At 292 watt hours per mile. So I'm actually pretty happy with that considering the roof box up there and all the shooting equipment that's in there. So yeah, that was butt heaters and the regular heater going the whole way. So yeah, I can, uh, I can get down with those numbers and it looks like we're gonna finish up at about 61% from 91%. It's also like 40 degrees outside and I completely did not preheat anything. I just got in the car and split. But here we are.
not what you would think. There's a pretty cool little X. All right, guys. So we'll get the, uh, we'll walk inside there, see what they have to say, and I'll be back. Well, we made our service appointment, so that was cool. Uh, walked in and they're, well, we didn't think you were gonna make it. I'm like, you never called and told me I was good to go. And they were like, oh, well, you're a VIP around here. I was like, you're a dirty liar. But uh, they put a, a ferrite ring, which is kind of like a filter. I know a little bit about those from uh, flying model airplanes. Um, just a filter in between some electrical components. The uh, I think it was the airbag sensor, the seat sensor. One of them uh, was having some uh, interference with some 60 hertz interference, and uh, that will take care of that. So no big deal. I had a cup of coffee. Uh, Mike, the service guy here, just an awesome guy. Carlos was the service tech. He's been out to the house before. Just a great group of guys out of Tesla Chico, and I can't say enough about them. They had um, a plaid in the service bay, just getting some stuff done on that. Interestingly though, the badge wasn't on there, so you know, you drop 130 grand, give me my damn plaid badge. But uh, it was still pretty cool, put that yoke steering wheel and may or may not have sat in the customer's car and drooled on it a little bit. So I've got some pictures of the bay, uh, make sure that those get uploaded towards the end of the video. Nothing really exciting, just, you know, what a basically a mom and pop size uh, Tesla service center looks like but uh, these guys are fantastic I've never had a bad experience here they uh, they'll stop here and shoot the breeze with you I got a lot of inside baseball knowledge on uh, some of the Tesla stuff that's going on right now nothing you know that's super secretive but to get it from the horse's mouth is pretty cool so we're all done here it's uh 10 30 at 60 percent state of charge we're gonna head down to yuba city and uh might stop and grab something to eat real quick because my tum tum rubble rumbles it's hungry so we'll uh get you guys back on the road get you switched over to the gopro see you in a little bit So, I'm at a dilemma. I really want to pass this tractor and this Chevy something in front of us, but about a mile and a half up the road is another tractor. But I really want to feel the need for speed when I punch the accelerator, but at the same time, why? So, it's a damn good car thing that this car is extremely comfortable to ride in. Um, because I'm quite content doing, you know, 55 and a 65. Sons of bitches. So, we'll see what happens. It, uh, about, I don't know, eight more miles, it opens up into a three mile two way passing lane. So we might just uh, sit on our hands and wait for that. But uh, yeah, let's hear it for these seats, Elon. This is extremely comfortable to get uh, screwed in behind traffic. So good job to your uh, team that uh, did the seat design and whoever made the padding for it because uh, my ass feels good, especially with the butt heaters on. So we'll see what traffic looks like here and uh, maybe we'll get froggy. See you guys in a minute.
pushing all these damn buttons. I don't know if this thing's on or off. I see a red light flashing. And then I thought I recorded like the last 40 minutes of a back of a Pepsi tractor. I could be talking to myself right now. I think it's recording. I see the numbers clicking. Uh, Gridley is the little town we just went through. We're about 15 minutes from Yuba City. Um, not an exciting drive. Literally stared at the back of a Pepsi tractor trailer the whole way. Uh, we are at 50% battery. I didn't even plug it into the navigation, so I don't know what we're going to arrive at, but we burned uh, 264 watt hours per mile, so that's dirt cheap. Now, granted, we were drafting and behind a tractor trailer, and uh, we've gone 30 and a half miles since the uh, Tesla service center. So, again, big ups to those guys. I love going down there. They always take care of you. The espresso machine is just spot on, too. Um, just a, a great, great group of guys. So, we'll get you flipped back around, and we'll take you all the way into my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house. It's a uh, single lane road the whole way. It's not exciting at all, but it, who doesn't love a road trip with background noise? We'll see you guys in a minute. Ah, just had a good Mexican lunch, but uh, you guys are gonna dig this. I used to be stationed down here at Beale Air Force Base in Yuba City. Well, I didn't realize it at the time, but they have this. Just random ass roosters roaming around this side of town. They're all over the place. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> Alrighty, kids. Uh, we're in Williams at the Supercharger. I got a late uh, leave out of Yuba City State had dinner. Had a good time with everybody, but we arrived at 25% state of charge, which is right what Elon said we were gonna make it at. And uh, we're gonna plug in and see what this does. This is a V3 Supercharger. We're about an hour north of Sacramento. There are only four more superchargers until you get to the Medford area in Oregon. Uh, two V2s and two V3s. So, Redding is supposed to get one, which is a really good halfway point between Sac and Oregon. And uh, the permits are done. We're just waiting on Tesla to start construction. So, I'm gonna hop out, plug in, take some pictures and upload it to uh, PlugShare and onto the uh, supercharging site. And I'll be right back. All right. Fans just kicked on. Oh, look at that shit. Pegged it at 250 at 24%. I don't expect that to be there. Wow, holy shit, 1135 miles an hour charge rate. Oh my god, um, that's amazing. So yeah, we're gonna give her a little tap on the ass because she's doing awesome. We're tapering down already, we're at 236 and falling, so I don't imagine we'll be over 200 for quite a while. So uh, I pulled it down, it looks like about 70% charged. We're gonna head home from here and actually just plugged in the address to the house and uh, let's see what it says thinking or thinking nice model x just left uh 10 whopping minutes here and then we'll get out of here so nice oh well hang on it helps when you actually put your correct address into where you're going so we get about 10 15 minutes here and then we'll make it home at 20 something percent i will probably charge just a hair longer uh, because of the roof box up there. This thing says I'm looking at it. We did 31 miles and it was 365 watt hours. So the roof box with all that weight makes a huge difference. So we'll probably sit here until we taper under 100 or so and we'll uh, stick around the charger when we get home. So there you go guys, another adventure uh, coming into an end for you. I got an hour and 30 minutes to drive home. If anything awesome happens, I'll be sure to fire this up for you. We'll see you guys on the next one.